the shooting range. Awesome! You guys, we made it to 100 episodes. And to celebrate this, and while the dev team is completely busy with a new update, we're going to be very immodest and devote this episode not to the game, but to the show itself. In this episode, we'll tell you what happens to the shooting range in the near future. There's no celebration without surprises. Let there be a contest with awards and all that. Hotline. We answer questions that you've left in the comments. But first, let's start with one of the most popular requests considering the 100th episode. We've been doing this show for two years now. It seems like a good time to finally unveil our secrets and show you how the shooting range is being made. It all starts with an idea. No oh boy, do we have a bunch of them. Let's get rid of the ones that are impossible to write. Impossible to film. Just plain crazy. And there you have it. Well, shoot. We can always write about the T-34, right lads? Lads? Uh, back to brainstorming, I guess. Let's say we finally settle on a section about a new map. That's when our crew of experienced writers comes in, veteran War Thunder players, every single one of them. Let's see. God darn it. Well, after the texts are written and translated from incomprehensible gibberish into languages known to man, we start recording in-game footage. It's easy. We just follow the text. Now, after dodging an enemy rocket, okay, uh, we take our XP-55 into a controlled dive. Okay and then shoot an enemy MiG in the cockpit. What? Are they for real? Oh, but don't worry. It'll only take us 357 attempts to get it just right. Okay, moving to our favorite part, the hotmail. Ah, the joys of reading through your well-thought and well-written questions. Seriously though, there's a lot of excellent feedback in there. Thank you for that. And sometimes, there are true gems, like this one. Great. Now it's just a matter of passing it down to the dev team. Gosh darn it! After all of that is sorted out, it's time to send the finished script to our great narrator. Oh, that's me. Uh, thank you, by the way. And there is blank space here. So I guess I'm free to say whatever I want. <clears throat> Actually, for the longest time I wanted to say, to tell all of you, that Hitler did no... Now all that's left is to assemble the whole thing. The process is nothing short of fascinating. It's like repairing your tank on the front line while being pummeled from three sides at once. Editing team, get it together. Douse the fires. Don't you die on me. And that's how you produce an episode of The Shooting Range. And what comes next, you ask? We've got 100 episodes. What are our plans for the show right now? How will it change? Well, let's talk about that. In short, we're not going anywhere. Business will continue as usual with the same vim and vigor. Just like before, we'll continue to fill you in about all the new stuff and gameplay mechanics. And, of course, 
you will hear more stories about history of machines, their pilots, and creators. Let's elaborate a bit. Update 1.79, codenamed Project X, has just been released, and oh boy, it's massive. New tanks, new planes, new maps. On top of that, it introduces new, wholly revamped sound effects for all air guns and machine guns. However, the true highlights of this update are these beauties. The Type 90, the Leopard 2A4, the AMX-40, and, of course, the Fritz X. The first guided bomb ever successfully used in a combat situation. We'll talk about the history of this weapon in our Pages of History section in the near future. Possibly even next week. And yes, we remember that we told you not to wait for it like five episodes ago. Surprise! Almost every nation in the game received new additions to their aircraft hangars and tank garages. Although Italy is a little bit less lucky, there is still something exciting for the fans of the Italian tech. The Project X patch added another aircraft by the famed Reggiane company. We talked about it a few months back, remember? Italian armored vehicles didn't make an appearance in this update, but rest assured, the development is proceeding as planned. We are surely going to talk about it many times this year. While we're on the subject of novelty and new tech, full-on closed beta testing of naval battles is nigh. The Project X adds a whole armada worth of American and German ships. Those of you who bought pre-order packages will have an opportunity to test out the new tech first. If you're still debating whether to buy them or not, be advised. After the closed beta testing starts, these packages will not be available for sale. We at the shooting range like to be in touch and up to date. So when the closed beta finally begins, we'll expand our horizons to include plenty of content about the naval battles as well as the other tech. You certainly can expect multiple special features about specificities of those ships detailed analyses of particular models and, you guessed it, the tales of famous machines. Also, new strategic hints, challenges, pitfalls and opportunities. Prepare yourself. The shooting range will soon leave the shipwright docks and embark on a new adventure. Still hungry for more? Not a problem. Implementation of long-awaited wargame mode is right round the corner. Information about it frequently pops up on our website, but we at Shooting Range will not shy away either. If there's any new info, you will surely hear about it. Oh boy, upcoming patches are shaping up to be so promising. That's all for the biggest, juiciest announcements that we absolutely will talk about more of in the future. In fact, there's a lot more to it than that. We have many things in store for you. Besides, we're always delighted to hear more from you guys. Suggestions and ideas are as welcome as ever. And now, for a little but hopefully pleasant surprise. The team behind The Shooting Range loves user-generated content. We spend a lot of time at live.warthunder.com looking at your creations, testing them, and sometimes we take them to this show. Simply put, we think that these works that you make are one of the best things that War Thunder gave us. Camouflages, maps, models, missions. There are talented creators in every branch. For example, look at this stealth camouflage by a user called X182208, one of the most popular on the whole site. 
or these football-themed camouflages. One for the Vautour by Anel Toro 089, honoring national French team, and another for the M41A1 Walker Bulldog by Sabro, supporting Polish football players. Both of those, of course, celebrate this year's FIFA World Cup in Russia. Anyway, as the user-generated content is so important for us, we've decided to launch a bit of a competition among you creators using the power of live.warthunder.com. The terms are quite simple. You need to create a camouflage in honor of 100 episodes of the shooting range for any tech you prefer and post it on that site with a hashtag hash 100 episodes. Here it is on the screen. We will review the projects posted between the 17th and 24th of June 2018. Using this hashtag, we'll pick the best decals and show them in episode 102, or maybe 103. The winner will get the premium beauty called the IS-6 Heavy Tank, and those two who get the closest to the prize will receive 5,000 and 2,500 Golden Eagles accordingly. So, here it is. Play, create, and of course, watch the shooting range. Life would be a lot less fun without you and your comments. Good news, everybody. The traditional hotline section is still a thing. But today, we won't be asking the developers to answer your questions. The first question was asked by a user called Ray Mickens. Can we get a video on dogfighting tips? We'll see what we can do, mate. Swag Life. Hey, Gaijin, can I have some free money? Thanks. Well, we don't mind, of course. But it's not like we do have some free money stored somewhere. So you'd better find it elsewhere. Then there is a question from a user called Ben Williams. I've got a super important question on behalf of all of us British players. Will we have a cup of tea decal coming soon? Ooh, that sounds fierce. Can't promise you that, but surely someone will help you out with doing that one on that same live.warthunder.com resource that we discussed earlier today. Or... You can even make it yourself and make your enemies lose their minds in fear of your unique British battle teacups. Another message today was sent by Silver Bud. Yesterday was the second year anniversary for the shooting range. Uh, we know, right? The time flies like crazy. Thank you for being with us all this time. And the last very serious message was sent by a player called Rivet Sveshka. Will you marry me? Sorry, babe. This prize is already taken. That's it for today, but feel free to write your questions in the comments below. We do read them all, and you might see some of them answered in the next episode. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you on The Shooting Range.